Hi, welcome to another tutorial brought to you by BentleyNuts.com. This is a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro. You must have the Pro versions of Sony Vegas as masking will be involved. If you do not have Sony Vegas Pro, you will not be able to do this effect. This effect called, called Ghost Rider, it's like it's being taken the picture but the movement carries on and it just stays still. And the, there's a few things you need for this video. You must make sure your video is completely stationary and still on a tripod or on a ledge or something. You don't want a moving camera, otherwise this effect will not work. You need more advanced techniques to use, and if there's no annotation on the screen now, I haven't done the tutorial yet, but I will do soon. And so you must subscribe to make sure you don't miss it. Right, first off, you need to import your clip into Sony Vegas. As you can see, my clip is just of a basically rider going down, then stops. I'm going to remove the uh, audio because it's going to be really annoying and make sure maintain aspect ratio is unticked. Right, now, what you need to do now is right click and create more video track files because you'll be needing it depending on how many like still shots you want. Now what you have to do is make sure your object is going from the right of the screen all the way to the left and it does it in a continuous movement. It doesn't go slowly to the right, left, and then goes back a bit, and then goes. You must make sure it's constant moving, either going from the right to the left, or left to right, or the middle to the right, or the middle to the left, if you get what, I'm, what I mean. Um, if it doesn't, then the effect will not work, and you'll probably find out. If you do not know what I'm on about, you'll probably find out in the due course, right? Now, just go to wherever you want on the clip where you want to have the first still image of your of the movement. I'm going to have it right at the top of bit of the track here and then you must press S to split the clip and then you need to create, make sure your quality is best, just do this so that means when it takes the picture it's in its best quality and then you press the save icon up in the top. Right, you'll either save this to the uh, desktop or wherever your directory you want it to be and make sure you can be able to recall it so save it and then you need to drag it back into the uh, picture, into the, into the file. Now you need to click this event pan or crop button right here and then tick the mask. Then click on the pen and now what you need to do is zoom in and go around the rider roughly or the move the object that's going to be moving. For my case it's going to be this mountain bike here. So just go around it roughly. And there we go. And make sure and as you can see now we've gone round it, it should be the rider showing. If the if there's everything if um the rider isn't showing, it might be because your mode is negative. Make sure you click on here and make sure the mode is positive so you can see the rider. There we go. And now you can feather it both ways a tiny bit if you were very inaccurate. There we go, and it looks much better now. Right now, just close this menu. Now drag the picture file that you've just edited in the masking and put it to where you split the image. Right there. So now, if we watch this, it looks like the rider's stuck there now. So there we go. Now go to another point where you want want to um, stick a rider and then press S again. But make sure you only cut the uh, the bottom clip. There we go, and now press and make sure your quality is on full again. And then click save, save the image, and then drag the image back in to the to the point. Then click, do exactly the same thing again. Go mask. Do the masking around the the object. There we go. And it's better to move this the um image away from the um area so you can actually see what you're masking. Then click feather if you need to feather out a bit. There we go. It looks pretty good there. Right now, drag it back in to the point where you've cut it on this clip. So now, if we play it now, it looks like boof, boof. And then we're going to do one more. I'm going to do one more roundabout. Let's go here. Right on this one, you can see that there's a bit of the background showing through his arm. So what you can do is just click on the pen tool again and then just go around the inside. If you do have an inside. And then you must make sure the, cr uh, the mode is negative if you go on the inside. And now you can see it's a bit, it's black. Now do both. See, this one doesn't look very good because I'm rushing it, and then, there you go, and then drag it back on up the top here, so as you can see it's like a staircase going up, so then once you play it, it should go buff, 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 and that's how you do the effect, and then you can add some flashes onto it as well, so with this, 
all you have to do is go onto the um, video effects tab, click the glow tab. I preferably like the white highlights one. Drag it onto the main one, main video here. Uh, make that you don't want it too intense. The intensity, turn it down a bit. Glow percentage, pretty much, pretty much near the bottom. Then go click animate. Go along the timeline a bit. Double click to create a thing, and then remove everything. So then, once we play it, looks like there's a quick glow, but obviously that was a bit too quick. So click on the effects thing and then stretch this out a bit. Slow down the effect. And that's how you do the effect. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more tutorials and personal videos. Make sure you subscribe to my main channel, Bentley Nuts 321. If you don't know what my main channel is, it's Bentley Nuts 321. There will be an annotation on the screen now. Go ahead, check it out. Um, oh, that's where I put up all my proper edits, and on this channel, you'll just find all the tutorials and funny videos towards me. And go check out my website, BentleyNuts.com, for more.